Hey there, welcome to Create Full Art. As you can see where I'm at, it is a bit cold. I am in Alaska and right now is probably not the best time to go visit Alaska unless you love the snow. But one of the wonderful things about the winters in Alaska is the Northern Lights. Now you can see right now that it's about to snow. So it's not a clear night but we've had some amazing nights where we've seen the Aurora Borealis and it's awesome. You can see the ribbons just dancing on the sky. And so today I want to show you how to paint the Aurora Borealis and we're going to have some fun doing so. And if you like to learn about art and if you like to decorate your house with your own artwork, this is the perfect channel for you, so I hope that you consider subscribing. This step-by-step -step tutorial is for you, but it's also for my friend Pat, who I adore and love immensely, and we have been great friends in Alaska, and she really wanted to learn how to paint the Aurora Borealis. So let's get started. Step one, grab your whitest brush that you have that has a flat top and then you're going to grab your blue paint. For the paint I'm going to be using combination of the Brilliant Blue and the Solo Cyan Blue. I'm going to go ahead and mix this with my brush and I'm going to make sure that there's going to be a gradient between the two. Okay, so see how this side of my brush has the blue, the lighter blue, and this has the darker blue. We're going to paint across. I'm gonna take my brush and where the darker is, I'm gonna start that at the top, go side to side, and then I'm gonna add water to my brush so that the paint goes smoothly across. Okay, and I'm not gonna worry about the dark mixing down here. I'm just going to grab the lighter paint and some water and bring it down. And if some of it mixes down here, that's okay. That darker color. I'm going side to side and all the way down my canvas. Once your canvas is all filled up all the way to the bottom, then you're done with this step. For step two, we're going to lighten where the horizon is. So we're going to take our white and add it to our palette here. We're going to take that same brush, grab a little of your white paint, and what you're going to be doing is starting at the bottom, you're going to be moving the white up. Okay, and then just go a little bit, so here's the middle, a little bit below the middle. Now I'm going to grab my purple, and I'm gonna add that to my palette here. I'm gonna make sure that I have white on my brush. And then I'm just gonna add a little bit of that purple color, just a little bit of it. Now I'm going to add that. Now notice how I don't put any of the water on my brush. This is dry brush. Okay, so for this step, we're going to be adding stars. And what you want is you want like a bristly brush that pulls back, or you can use a toothbrush. And what you're going to do is you're going to add white paint to your brush, okay? And then some water. And then you wanna pull back with your finger. Just let it go on your canvas, okay? and then you have your stars, okay? Then you want this to dry, and then you're ready for the next step. For this step, you can take a white watercolor pencil, and what you're going to do is you're going to be drawing the northern lights, okay? So we're gonna start from this corner right above the white here, okay? And we're going to go towards this right here. Okay, and we're just gonna draw a wavy line. Okay, I'm gonna show you that with just a little bit of white paint so you can kind of see. So I'm coming down, in, and then to this corner. 
This one's going to go to this corner here. So start at the corner, come in like that, down, a curvy S shape, and then it comes into that other one. It doesn't have to look exactly like mine. This one's going to start at the same point and then loop around. Like that. Now I'm going to make another one. This one's going to start here and then it's just going to go to this corner right here. And then I'm going to have another one and it's going to start over here. Okay, and it's going to draw your eye right around here and then come back in, okay? Because we want the focal point to be around here. So it comes up, comes around, and then in. So now that we have that done, we can go on to the next step. Okay, so I'm going to be using this palette that I was using earlier, because I will use some of that pink, and I'm also going to add green to it, okay? So I'm going to use this emerald green. Now I'm going to be using this flat brush right here. So what I'm going to do is just grab a little bit of that green and add it to my white here. And then I'm going to add a little yellow to it because I don't want it to be a mint green. I'm not just going to have one color going up. I'm going to add a little yellow and a little green as I go. Okay, so what I'm doing right now is I'm following this line and I'm going up that line and I'm using a dry brush okay and then when I get to this corner I stop there and I let things like that slide you know where it doesn't quite reach the line because that's kind of what the northern lights do they bounce around they're not perfect okay and then I bring it down here I'm going up, okay, and then this comes around, so I'm going to stop right there, and then come back over on this side, and then switch my brush to clean this way, and then I'm going to make shorter strokes. Now you have that one done, you can go ahead and do this one. So you can add a little bit more green to it if you'd like. Okay, same thing, you just kind of follow it, going up, okay, and then when you get to the side, turn your brush this way, go up this way. So these angles, you just want to keep them inside, always going up. It's going to be easier, I think, to have your brush just going this direction. And I'm going to make this one green as well. And notice how I don't reach up quite to this one right here. Okay, and then they're going to get a lot taller. I'm going to move my brush to the side like I liked it. And then come down around here. And then I'm going to start getting smaller. Okay, so once you're done with the green, you can go ahead and wash out your brush and add the purplish pink color. Now at any time you can just be creative. You know this is Createful Art so you can change the colors as you wish. Okay, just make sure that when you go and you're ready to do this that it's a drier brush. I'm going to make this go tall right through here. Okay, and then I'm going to let it get tall right through here. Back in, go to this side, and then let it get tall through here. Okay, and then you can kind of look back on it and decide if there's anything you like to change. And then you're ready for the next step. Okay, so this is your last step and it's the real easy part. All you're going to need is black paint for this step. And what you're going to do here is you're going to make a tree line and you're going to make this tree line dip down and then come back around this way. So grab a small flat brush. What you're going to be doing is using the side of your brush 
and then just coming down so you have these ups and it comes down together Up. and right here we're going to make a tall tree so we're just going to make a line coming down okay and we're going to make another tall tree coming right here next to it another line coming down and over here another little taller tree coming next to it okay and then all you do is come in here on the side of your brush and just blotch it and leave spaces in between your blotching okay, come down and blotch and you, then you want it to come together at the bottom here and this is just going to be all black so come in here blotch until you reach over to that tree and then you'll want to go up on the side here so let's do a line right here and a line right here and then it just kind of comes down come in here do the same thing just blotch the sides Trees are really easy if you just be really irregular with them. Go back up on this side to about the same spot. Okay, so now with all this down here, you can just fill it in with black. And down here it should be pretty darn solid. So as you go up, you can let some of the gaps show, but down here, this is all filled in with trees. And if some parts of it appear lighter than others, that's okay. And the reason why I'm not using a bigger brush and I'm blotching, it'll leave a texture there that will look more like trees than if I just were to go across back and forth. Okay, and then you can decide if you want to change anything. Okay, and once you're done with your tree line, then you are done. Thank you for creating with me. I hope you had fun. I hope you can enjoy the Aurora Borealis like we can every day. Somebody is chopping wood. Who is chopping wood at this time? Good gracious. Somebody ran out of wood for their fireplace. It was so good creating with you and I will see you in the next video. Bye!